Hi guys and welcome back. Today we're talking caravan security. Now this is a really hot topic currently as caravan theft is on the ride and thanks to the guys at Malenko, they've sponsored this video uh, and have sent uh, me some products to show you. We've got their Wraith wheel clamp, original wheel clamp and their hitch lock. We're also going to be talking about a few other security devices you might be interested in doing a review and showing how these three items from Elenco work. So uh, what we'll do is uh, Mr. VoiceOver will uh, jump in in a moment and uh, we'll go and show you uh, how to use these products. So guys, what are you thinking of caravan security? You need to think of three things. Cost, ease of access or use, and also weight. That's quite an also important thing. Let's talk about cost. So the most expensive clamp, clamp on the market at the moment is the Alco Secure. Now all the products I'm about to show in this video are supplementary items if you have Alco Secure. It's recommended you if you have this the receiver for that lock, go and purchase the red uh, receiver to go in your lock. Uh, most caravans have the receiver, mine doesn't, so I'm using two clamps instead of the Alco Secure. So you could use something like the Wraith on the other side instead of having just the Alco Secure. So to ask cost, um, obviously there's really cheap clamps on the market for 20, 30 pounds on Amazon. Whether they're any secure or not, who knows? We've got one of those on our small trailer and uh, I think even I could cut it off with a hacksaw. Uh, very unsecure, but it's just more of a deterrent than anything else on that because of value. Weight, well, the uh, original wheel clamp that I'm using is very heavy. Um, if I go away on long extended breaks where I'm stayed in a campsite for a long period of time, I will take it. If I'm touring, it stays at home. It's way too heavy to keep putting on and off, which is why I've got the Wraith. Um, so there's the old Bulldog style full face clamps that everyone used to use. They were ridiculously heavy, over 20 kilos and um, yeah but very very strong um, so always think about weight and of course like I say ease of use you don't want a clamp that's re really difficult to put on if you're just going away for one or two nights uh, because you're less likely to put it on because you're thinking oh, I can't be doing with the hassle which is actually why it's quite nice to have that se second wheel clamp with the Alco Secure. Uh, I'm not saying don't use the Alco but um, obviously uh, you could use that uh, instead of it on a site if you had to for some reason. So yeah that's obviously thinking how easy it is to use which is why a good quality hitch lock is really important because if you're going away to motorway services you can uh, quickly put it on um, for um, you know whilst you're there. But talking about hitch locks and leaving them on, don't leave your hitch lock while whilst you're towing. Some hitch locks such as the new Alco Secure um, hitch lock are available to be used whilst uh, towing. It's not recommended because if you have a head on accident and or an accident of any kind, the emergency services cannot split the car in the caravan. I know they'll have angle grinders of them, but it's much more difficult than just pulling the handle. Um, so don't go with your hitch locks on. Um, if you hook your caravan up correctly and wind up, uh, the caravan should not come off, so you shouldn't need to put the hitch lock on there to stop it coming off. And again, if you have a nice easy one to put on, you can always put it on at a service station, should you wish. <laughs> To use the wraith you'll need to replace a wheel nut and that's just a simple case of talking up the new nut um, and then um, put the uh, locking bar into the wraith and unlock the lock Then simply uh, take the lock uh, to the nut and uh, push it in uh, give it a little wiggle and then remove the key it's that simple removing the wraith turn the lock lift it up a little bit and remove it that's how easy it is nice and easy Fitting the Malenko hitch lock, well first up you need to put the safety pull into the hitch and then you can take the yellow shroud and put it over the hitch handle. There's a little notch just inside and you need to line that up to put it over the hitch securely. Take the longer part of the bolt into the right hand side of the hitch lock and then put in the locking bar, twist the key and that's it done. And then you can put the stabiliser down. Removing the hitch lock, totally the opposite, pull the hitch handle up unlock the bar, remove the locking bolt 
took the shroud off and take, remember to take the safety ball out. Nice and simple. When fitting the original uh, wheel clamp, take the uh, top bar uh, around the wheel. I usually go on the right hand side, but you can go either side. Put the right hand side of the arm into the wheel clamp. Uh, it's a bit fiddly to find the notch, but uh, once you're in, you're in. Get your keys um, and uh, insert the key into the bolt. Um, some of the Lenko keys are all the same as you can see here. It's quite easy to put the wrong one in, um, but it only goes half a turn. Then put the left hand side of the uh, lock in, line it up and push it in and simply turn the key. Removing the original wheel clamp is exactly the opposite. Unlock the lock, take the left hand side of the clamp out um, and then uh, lock the lock back up again. Remove the right hand side and then take the top bar off around the wheel. I've been really pleased with the uh, Malenko hitch lock and uh, all the wheel clamps. The Wraith, uh, the first time I used it, I wasn't exactly that impressed. Uh, and that's because I didn't have the correct wheel nut. Since having the Bailey wheel nut, it's been much easier to fit. The hitch lock is super easy uh, to use and uh, really nice and easy to put. And the original wheel clamp, well, it's as secure as they say. A bit of fiddly to get on, but once you've got the hang of it, nice and easy. As well as the uh, products I've shown in this video, it's highly recommended to look at using some other security items to help secure your caravan. Malenko offer a range of uh, door locks, to go, uh, supplementary locks to go over the top of your door lock um, to uh, aid the security of the door and they do the security handle and also the actual lock that you can open from it inside that's just a security door lock. You can also purchase uh, steady locks if you wish those to stop the steady being wound up and down. That's quite a good little feature uh, to stopping thieves. So yeah, you've got a steady lock feature. They're quite good to use. And obviously then there's other um, manufacturers on the market such as Phantom who create the alarm and tracker um, combination. So if you want to, if maybe Caravan's already got a tracker, I would recommend uh, setting up the subscription uh, as there's a, might, there's a bit of a chance that you might get your caravan back. And obviously, remember to get your caravans insured. We use Caravan Guard for our insurance. Uh, I use it, mum and dad use it, grandma used to use them. They've been absolutely fantastic. Such a helpful call center and you can chat to someone really easily. Uh, their, uh, their pricing is spot on and what they quoted me for this caravan was absolutely on par with every other company that I tried. So I highly recommend and caravan guard and go and check them out uh, if you want any quotes uh, for any uh, insurance um, but yeah obviously there's plenty of other uh, security items on the market I was brought to attention of a company called Dan tracker I believe it was called it's a small tracker about this long in a big long bar and you can hide that it, and you get an app it's 500 pounds got a five-year battery life and it looks absolutely fantastic um, there's also items uh, on the market uh, such as the new Apple Tag. A lot of people seem to be using those. Uh, if you've got an Apple phone, you can use Find My iPhone and Find My on your phone, which is actually quite a good little item. I think they're not that expensive, maybe £50 or something like that. Uh, but yeah, plenty of items on the market that's going to help your caravan stay secure. I also recommend don't leaving any valuables in the caravan whilst it's stored, uh, because if your caravan was to get stolen, hopefully they're only going to nick the caravan and not all your personal items, which sometimes are irreplaceable in the caravan. I know it's a bit of a chore every time you're going away, but that could uh, be the difference between uh, being able to make your new caravan, if your old one was stolen, uh, a bit more uh, tolerable and a bit more uh, livable. Um, so yeah, think about some other security items as well. The more security you have, the better, basically. Um, our caravans are all stored in our driveway. You can also look at securing, uh, putting your caravan in a Kosoa storage yard as well. And they are uh, rated, and I'll put the link to Kosoa's website down below, um, should you wish to store in those. We like storing on the driveway, because at least we can see the caravan. And uh, caravan theft is statistically less likely to happen on a driveway, uh, but uh, you know you, you you can't stop any of it. And also, one on the driveway, we could fit some bits and pieces like CCTV, maybe security lighting, and also uh, security posts. Should you wish any of those items again to deter those thieves.
Well everyone, that's my video about caravan security. Uh, massive thank you to Malenko for sending us the Wraith and the, com the uh, original wheel clamp. Uh, the hitch lock is one of mine. Uh, we've had it for quite a while. Um, so that's why you might have seen us a few scratches and scrapes on it because that one was not brand new. Um, but I've done the video including that anyway. So big thank you to them. I've put links to all the products in the description of Palenko's website. And I've also put some links to some affiliate Amazon links as well. So if you purchase through those links, I do get a small commission for you going through those. And uh, that's some links to the products just down below should you wish to purchase them at any point. So um, yeah, that's the products. Obviously, uh, the Malenko website has all the link, all the important information, all the sold secure, and all the accreditation that all the clamps have had. So highly recommend going to check their website out uh, because you might find um, that actually it is quite interesting. So uh, remember to uh, keep your caravan secured so that we hopefully uh, are stopping the uh, preventing theft of them. And um, I hope this video, like I say, has been interesting. In the next video, hopefully, is going to be a towing video. Um, if I can get around to the day I'm going away next is a nice day. I really want to do that video on a really nice day. Show you how the Fiesta is coping with towing my Bailey Discovery D42 that was sat in now. Uh, as I'm going back to Salisbury Camping and Caravan Club site. There was supposed to be a review of that but unfortunately the footage didn't come out as I wanted to. So I've decided to postpone that video uh, and that site talk to another visit when I'll be going there. But um, yeah, there'll be a video coming on towing very, very soon. So as always, if you enjoyed this video, remember to give us a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, do put them in the comments below. And like I said, if you've got any other uh, security recommendations that might be helpful, also put them in the comments below. So thanks very much for watching. Bye then. Bye.